This is the Slow and Sear Deluxe Kamado right out of the box, and I'm Max Good. I test and review grills and smokers full-time for AmazingRibs.com. I'll be putting it through the paces shortly, so let's take a quick look before I start to cook. In this short virtual showroom video, I'll walk you around Slow and Sear to show what it looks like inside and out. If you're not already at my AmazingRibs.com review page, you can read my detailed test results at the link below. Welcome to our virtual showroom. And here's the Slow and Sear Deluxe Kamado. It's unlike any Kamado I've ever seen. There's a big old exhaust damper on top and that obligatory lid thermometer that is inaccurate. Fold down side shelves. Sliding air intake damper on the bottom. Thick felt insulation top and bottom. A heavy dome lid. Stainless steel cooking grate with a diffuser plate. Of course, you eggheads call it a plate setter. And right about now, you may be saying, well, geez, Max, what's so different about this? And you'd be right, because right now, it's set up to work like every Kamado works. But we're going to remove all these guts in a minute, and I'll show you how slow and sear is different from the rest guts removed and I'm even going to get rid of that cast iron charcoal grate at the bottom. I put that stainless steel charcoal grate back in and on top of that goes the slow and sear charcoal basket with a removable water reservoir that not only adds humidity but acts as a barrier between the charcoal which goes here. That's why I removed that bottom charcoal grate and what you're cooking goes on this side. With the cooking grate back on, Slow and Sear is designed to give real two zone separation because your hot charcoal is contained in the Slow and Sear basket and you got your water reservoir that acts as a barrier while your food is slowly smoking in the indirect zone. And you can simultaneously use this as a hot direct zone. Or if you're just smoking low and slow, remove this grate entirely so you have easy access to replenish fuel. Put in the drip pan, which includes a rack. So now you have a roasting setup down there with the fire over here. Or set the drip pan right over the hot charcoal and use it like a griddle. Now do you see what I mean? We're really interested in the Slow and Sear Kamado because one of our big gripes about Kamados is that most are very difficult to set up for true two-zone cooking. Let's see if this can do it. For more about this and hundreds of other grills and smokers, visit AmazingRibs.com where you'll also get tested recipes, tips and techniques, and everything you need to know about outdoor cooking. AmazingRibs.com, the biggest, baddest barbecue website in the world.